And let's go ahead and jump in this week, and let's start in the NHL, where the Stanley Cup playoffs have been wild. Hockey is actually, they say, stealing some ratings from the NBA this year, and it only makes sense because we have had some crazy finishes, some great performances. The Stanley Cup playoffs have been very, very fun. But that's not where I want to start today. No, I actually want to talk about a story off the ice this week because it was announced following the completion of the NHL season that the Arizona Coyotes are going to be relocating to the state of Utah. I mean, we know Arizona can't have nice things, so they're going to head up to Utah and see if things are any better there. And the new Utah NHL team is trying to find their future nickname, and they are using a fan vote to try to do this. Well, now, the 20 team names that they are considering are out. And while there are a couple of nominations out there that are at least, I don't know, okay, I guess, most of them are absolute, unadulterated garbage. If you want to have your say in the matter, team owner Ryan Smith tweeted out a link last week and you can cast your vote for what the new team name should be. But, you know, it's always good to go into anything as like an informed voter, right? You don't want to just walk to the polls and cast your vote. You want to see what is out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you have to choose from if you're voting for the new Utah NHL team name. Now, we did know some of the names that were being considered because of some trademark applications a few weeks back. But here are the names that they are putting out there right now. And they say they are the top names. As you may or may not be aware, the team will be using Utah. It won't be Salt Lake City or anything like that. So keep that in mind as we go through these names. First up, the Utah Venom. Now, Venom is far from the worst. And I guess you could probably do some snake kind of stuff because I know they do have snakes in Utah. But it's still a no for me because it's going to make me think of like a comic book character. And I don't really want to think about Spider-Man when we're talking about hockey. Next, the Utah Ice. Would you call a team the, I don't know, Utah Field? Or like the basketball team, the Utah Court? Or a soccer team, the Utah Pitch? No! Utah Ice is awful. Okay, the Utah Freeze. I'm noticing a trend. There are a lot of ice and snow things happening here, and they're not good. The Utah Fury. This feels like a terrible, I don't know, XFL name or something. And so help me. If they pick Utah Fury, I will be calling them the Utah Furries. The Utah Blizzard. Again, this isn't great. Remember, you're going to be in the same division with my Colorado Avalanche. I'm not scared of a blizzard. An avalanche might kill me. I'm not scared of a blizzard. No, we don't need two snow themes in the same division. I know we're neighboring states. We don't need to do this. Blizzard versus avalanche, which is more dangerous? Please. Please. This isn't even close. Come on. The Utah Blast. I'm not even joking. This is beyond horrible. It sounds like something you order at Dairy Queen or 7-Eleven or something. Or it sounds like something you get after eating at Taco Bell. No. The Utah Mountaineers. Okay, I know West Virginia has the Mountaineers. It's not bad. It's not terribly exciting. And I just bet we're going to have some groups protesting They'd be mad at the implication of those darn colonizing mountaineers. So I don't know if it's going to work. The Utah Caribou. I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like this one. Is it great? No. But compared to the other so far, yeah, Caribou's pretty darn good. I actually would take that so far. The Utah Frost. Another cold name. We get it. It snows in Utah. We know calm down. The Utah Outlaws, I I guess it's not horrible. You could kind of do the Wild West theme here. I don't know much Wild West history that went on in Utah, but I guess you could try it. Okay, next up, 
the Utah canyons. Okay, I know Utah has canyons. I get it. Is a giant hole actually what you want to represent you? Who do you think you are, the Kardashians? No, the Utah mammoth. Again, not terrible, but we have a pro team in Denver that already goes by the mammoth. So I don't know that that works. Although Snuffleupagus as a mascot, not bad. Still better than Canyons by far. The Utah HC or the Utah Hockey Club. Now, the reason they're saying that's out there is because that's actually what they use at the draft. But the Utah HC, it's just very generic. It's not very good. I don't like it. The Utah Glaciers. Um, I guess this would be the before picture of the Utah Canyons. Again, just because it's hockey doesn't mean you have to have a cold weather name. There's a million other, I don't get it. The Utah Squall. Okay, just stop it now. Now we've gotten ridiculous. Just stop being stupid. The Utah Powder. I guess that's for snow. The Utah Powder. Is Doc Gooden going to be your mascot? This is idiotic. The Utah Hive. Now, this is actually a nod to Utah's nickname, which is the Beehive State. And they actually have the Beehive State on their state flag. But why the Hive? I don't like the Hive. Why not be the Blue Jackets or the Yellow Jackets or the Wasps or the Hornets? There's a million other things out there you could be. Not the Hive. I don't like the Hive. I don't want to be the house. I want to be the actual, you know, being. The Utah Yeti. Now, I've heard some people that actually like this. The Yeti is from the Himalayas, not the Rockies. Sorry, hate to burst your bubble. And also, didn't Seattle just pick like a mythical creature with a kraken like a year ago or something? We don't need another one. That's enough. The Utah Swarm. Again, kind of like the Hive, but stupid as well. And finally, the Utah Black Diamonds. Now, this one is at least interesting. It's obviously a skiing reference, but I don't really care for it just because it doesn't really roll off the tongue. Utah Black Diamonds, I don't like the two-word thing. I, no, no, I don't like Utah Black Diamonds. Okay, now I realize the new name is going to be one of these. I get it. But I actually have some suggestions of my own. Hear me out. And I know they might not be popular at first, but I'm going to give you an easy one. The Utah Fighting Mormons. I mean, we have the Fighting Irish. And think of how many people all over the world cheer for the Irish, no matter where they're from. They're like, no, I'm Fighting Irish. I love Notre Dame. I'm all about that. Fighting Mormons? Not bad. Okay, here's another one. The Utah Moose. Or you could even go up to the Utah Mean Moose if you really want to have something, you know, two-worded like you do. Bullwinkle could be your mascot, kind of like that. That's not bad. Moose are native to Utah. I think that's way better than anything they've thrown out. The Utah Hornets is not bad. The Utah Yellow Jackets, the Utah Blue Jackets, those aren't bad. The Utah Scorpions would be okay. Okay, I've got a few other ideas though. What about, hear me out, the Utah Tabernacle Choir? Mm, that one might have been used already. And you might think that's dumb. But remember, we already have the Utah Jazz. You going to tell me that makes any more sense? Okay, so we've got to come up with something. Um, okay, I've got one for you. And it kind of encapsulates the state. It grabs some history. And when you hear it, it sounds... Nice and maybe a little too soft at first. And yet, you get this group riled up. You get this group mad. And trust me on this. Your life is going to be a living hell. That's right. I'm just going to say it. The Utah Sister Wives. Utah, you're welcome. Okay, YouTube, make sure you go over and you check out the rest of the podcast today. We've got a little bit more news. Got some NFL schedule stuff coming out. Got a story coming out of the NBA. And then we are jumping into some winners and losers this week from the NBA playoffs so far. And we do have a Daily Dose Top 5 for you. You know, the NBA draft is coming next month already, which is insane. But today on The Dose, I've got five NBA draft facts. 
that I'm telling you, they sound made up and they are absolutely true. So I encourage you to go over and check out the rest of the podcast. I will leave a link here in the comments on YouTube for you. Hope you all are doing well. I will see you all, well, maybe not next week, but maybe in a couple weeks. We'll just see how it all goes. Have a great week.